Hi, I'm Scott and it's Wacky Winnie Wednesday. And today we're gonna learn how to de-stress, move our arms and just kind of get into the moment. Uh, Scott, what are you doing? Uh, well, it's Wacky Winnie Wednesday. <laughs> are you trying to be me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you gotta do it like this. Happy Wacky Winnie Wednesday, my lunch hero. So today we are going to do a little de-stressing by doing a little Tai Chi. Do you remember this? When I taught you stuff to move like water, yes. And then we'll do a little meditation and learn to be calm. Today we're in San Francisco, home of the Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz, and where fortune cookies were invented. It's a beautiful city with lots of historical connections. We're here to visit Winnie Chang. With deep roots in the community and school food, her fresh approach to school nutrition makes her a favorite amongst her peers. Let's go. Winnie, I've been looking for you. Hi, Sky. I'm so excited you're here. I've been waiting for you. I can't wait to show you all of my San Francisco hometown, and we're gonna make some dumplings later, some sui chow. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. So our first stop in San Francisco was Chinatown, where we went to get the fresh local ingredients that Winnie needed to make her soy chow. And to make Winnie soy jiao, we head to her kitchen, where we get the first taste of her infusing that spirit of fun and food together. So Winnie, tell me about your inspiration for your kitchen. Well, I mean, you know me, I'm very magical and I love fantasy. So this is my Alice in Wonderland. So I love baking, I love cooking, and this is where I create magic. So tell me about the ingredients we need for soy jiao. Oh yes, yeah. so we got some sesame oil, some salt, soy sauce, and then white pepper, sugar, and then we have our ground pork, our soy dao uh, wrappers, so that is basically just dumpling wrappers, and some chives. Tell me about your childhood growing up. Okay, well, I was born in San Francisco. So when I was about six months old, my father and mother decided to have my grandmother raise me in Taiwan, and my father was a chef, so he moved around a lot. So my grandma loves playing mahjong with her friends, and so while she's doing that, I'm just you know, entertaining myself. And that's where I became really creative um, and really independent. And so this is actually my grandma's recipe that she taught me when I was about five years old. And I started making sui jiao at just about that age, yeah. Okay, so now when we finished chopping the chives, we're just going to put everything in the bowl and we're just gonna mix it up with the ingredients and the ground pork. So we're just gonna grab a spoon and we're gonna mix everything together. So Winnie, at some point in time, you eventually made it back to the United States. Yes, um, so my father uh, brought me um, to Ohio where my aunt and uncle had um, a hotel. And so my two cousins were there too. So I got to go to Montessori school and first grade there. And then after first grade, um, he brought me over to back to San Francisco. And that's when actually I first met my mom. And so the, if you add an egg, it actually smooths out the whole mixture. And we're just gonna add a little cornstarch. Okay, so now that we got our mixture, we're going to wrap them with the sui jiao wrapper. Put a little water all along the edge so that we can seal it that way. And just grab a little mixture in here and we're gonna pinch the middle and we're just gonna bring in the sides like this and try to keep all of the mixture inside and pinch again and look, voila. So now that all the pot stickers are wrapped, we are going to boil them. 
So where did your passion for food come from? So my mom used to always cook dinner for us every night. It was always amazing food. And so when, um, whenever my friends come over to have you know meals and play, uh, she would always make amazing, delicious, fresh meals. And so when I moved out by myself, it was you know having all my friends come over. They love eating wonderful food. So I love cooking for them. And so they love it when I mix ingredients and have home cooked meals. So that was my favorite thing to do. Wow, they look amazing. They, they smell really good too. <laughs> I know, grandma recipe. Now uh, a little mama chang spin. Yep. <laughs> and Winnie's history of food is one that heavily involves her family. We head down to the local noodle factory started by her uncle and currently run by her cousin William. So tell me about your fantastic noodle company. Yeah, in the 70s, uh, my dad immigrated here. You know, he spent two years to learn the ins and outs of the company. And then from there, this, uh, this whole factory here. Yeah, he spent 40 years or so expanding the business, growing it from, you know, a tiny little factory in Oakland Chinatown uh, to, you know, we went into restaurant distribution. And then uh, right up until early 2000s, you know, he had my brother and I step in and, you know, we, we, we've been helping expand the business. Uh, I do operations and uh, my brother Grant does uh, schools and institutions. And it was working with her cousin Grant where Winnie found her calling in the school food industry. So my cousin Grant, he started Chef's Corner Foods because he wanted to make a healthier version of what the kids eat at the mall. And so that's when he actually asked me to join the family business. You know, with my energy, I love being with kids and having that funness. And I think it will inspire kids to eat a little bit better. Um, and then so that's when he first brought me to our first food show. And it was in Illinois. And uh, that's where, oh my gosh, I fell in love with meeting all the lunch heroes and the food directors. Um, and that, I, that was like seven, eight years ago now. And I love that we bring in diversity into the school meals. And this is why I'm continuing, you know, this passion and being with all the lunch heroes and making great food for everyone. And one of those people that felt the energetic wave of Winnie and Chef's Corner was a food service director at a nearby school district. I met Winnie at the beginning of last year. I was on the CSNA chapter board for Mother Load and she came out to do our wellness training and it was just amazing experience. She had everybody out of their seats, happy, laughing, smiling, moving around. And I wanted to bring that energy to my school district. And then upon meeting her, we found out that she's part of Chef's Corner Foods, which we had started using as well. So what foods do you bring in from Chef Corner Foods? We're currently bringing in their fried rice, their chow mein, their egg rolls, and their general Taos chicken. We have a very diverse community, so we like to bring in different cultural foods into our kitchen. So tell me how the kids reacted. Oh, it has been nothing but amazing. They were so excited to try the fried rice over having regular brown rice. Uh, they love the egg rolls. Our participation has soared when we serve Chef's Corner. They get excited, um, the parents are happy, and they're getting better quality food. So we went to one of their kitchens to see how it was prepared. So tell me more about how you prep the food that you bring in. So we start preparing our menus a year in advance. We utilize our commodities, so we're able to utilize uh, Chef's Corner's chicken. We're able to menu them once a month, and we utilize the chicken egg rolls with the veggie egg rolls for our vegetarian option. We utilize the chow mein with the Taos chicken on top and edamame for the vegetarian option. And we got a first-hand experience on how all those lunch heroes prepared the diverse food that Winnie and Chef's Corner provided. But while the food is great, it's her attitude and energy that leaves an impression. Oh, her energy is contagious. It is just amazing how she lights up a room. My staff have asked for her to come back again. Um, it's just such, she's been such an amazing person to me and to call a friend. And it's that infectious attitude that wins over everybody. By breaking down walls and getting people to know her, it opens up the door and introduces more ideas and diversity into the schools. I just love the diversity that I see in uh, Child Nutrition now and the menus, uh, the ingredients everyone's using and seeing how all the lunch ladies are just so excited to be there cooking for all the kids. I mean, they're just having fun, living life to the fullest. I love it. 
So what's next on the horizon for Chef Mama Chen? Of course, my love, passion is always the motivational speaking. I love getting booked all over you know, the United States, seeing all the different lunch ladies and lunch dudes, my directors, just loving life and getting them a little pep. Just to remind them like how important what they do every day and you know, just being who they are. And you guys do what you love, right? Do that forever and ever. I'll never stop. So as our time in San Francisco comes to an end, we learned how introducing new ideas and foods, along with a little passion, can lead to amazing experiences for both staff and children in school nutrition programs. We are grateful for Winnie taking us along as she recreated her grandmother's soy jow, showing us her family business and how it all comes together to feed the children authentic, delicious food. Until next time, San Francisco, Thanks for the free lunch.